Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use the new Duotone effect here in Photoshop Elements 2021, and then I'll show you how you can do the exact same effect inside of earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. If you want to learn a lot more about how to use this program and also earlier versions, take a look at my complete training course. There are links right down there in the description. The top one here is for Photoshop Elements 2021, and the link below that is for all the other versions of Photoshop Elements. Okay, to start this project off, I'm just going to cancel this out, and we'll get back in here to the guided edits. Okay, the Duotone is here in guided edits, and it's right here, it's in the fun edits section. I have a picture selected right down here. Notice the white outline. If I go over here, that's white. If I click on this one, this is white. It's going to be applied to the image you have with that white outline on it. And then just click on Duotone Effect, and this pops this up. I have mine set at before and after, so you can kind of compare how this is going. You can adjust that right over here, after only, before only, before, after, horizontal, or vertical. Now, the first thing to do is to choose how you want to output your image. And that's right over here it says Size Option. Make sure you do this before you do anything else because once you begin doing anything else, this is then grayed out. So do this first. If you want to keep your original size, just scroll down here a little ways and click on Original right there. Or you can use any other size in here. We have Instagram, we have Facebook sizes, Twitter sizes right here, and then all kinds of standard photo sizes as well. So choose your size. I'll be sticking with the original size. And then hit that green check mark. And there it is. Okay, that's taken care of. You can click on Size Option again to close out that dialog. Now, here we have two settings for your Duotone effects. One is a normal setting. I'll just click on this one right there. There it is. Or we have a gradient setting. And you can see the difference in here. The gradient, we have a black and white image in behind, and then it just goes from one color to the other along that gradient. Normal, it actually maps those colors, darks to one color, lights to the other color, and then does a gradient mapping between those. Now on both of these you have just six options down here but there's a lot more colors available. I'll just stick with what they use up there. That's that one right here. If you come underneath we have our options right down here. Now the top slider control adjusts this color. The bottom slider control adjusts that color. It just adjusts how much of that color is in the image. See there you go. You can really kind of fine-tune that and adjust the look and even kind of the contrast effect by pushing these up. You also can control the opacity in here. If I go way down, notice that one of the things this has done is it has converted this to a black and white image, and it's applying those colors onto that black and white image. You can control how much right down in here. Now you're not stuck with just these color choices. You can choose any color you want by clicking on the color box. This brings up the standard color picker, and you can choose any color you want in here. The right hand side, this kind of tall bar, this gives you your basic color range right there. And the left hand side controls your lightness, darkness, and richness in here. Full vibrancy, right hand side, full saturation, and zero color saturation on the left hand side. So pretty easy to choose any color you want from that color picker. Okay, now once you've done that, if you want to, you can also contain your duotone effect inside of a shape. Come down here to select the shape. And here we go, I'll just do this one right there. Notice that it contains the duotone effect inside of that shape. There's none. Here it is inside of a circle. There's a fancy shape, kind of a ragged effect in there. I'll go back to just the none on that. Also down here, you can choose to have your background as black and white, or if you want to, you can have that as color. So you have, again, a bit more image options in here, allowing you to maybe find something which is really interesting really exciting just by changing these different mask shapes. Now when you're happy with that, when you're done with that, all you need to do is come down here to the next button, click on next, and here you can save it. You can just save it as different locations and so forth. You can continue editing in quick edit mode or in expert mode, which is what I always use, or you can use the Fujifilm print option or share to Twitter or share to Flickr. So you have all those different options. We'll just take this out to expert mode. Let's now take a look at this in expert mode, and I'll show you how to do the exact same effect without using the guided edit. You can see up here we have two layers. So we have a black and white layer, and then above that we have our color gradient layer right here. This actually is a gradient map, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. I'm going to delete both of these layers. There we go, get rid of that. And we're back to our regular background layer. So the first thing that we had 
is we had a black and white. So that's pretty easy to do. I'm just going to right click on this and choose duplicate layer. Let's now convert this layer over to black and white. And for that, we'll go up to enhance, come down to convert to black and white. There it is. Now the way you work with this one, it depends on your image. I just go through each one of these options and see which one looks the best. I'm looking for a lot of nice detail in here. Scenic is not too bad. I think Vivid is just a little bit better than Scenic. So I'll go with the Vivid Landscape. Choose OK. There's our black and white conversion. Now we want to put in another layer up here with our gradient map. And you'll find that up here under Layer. Come down to Adjustment Layer. And your gradient map is right there. Click on OK. And here's our gradient map. Now the first gradient you get right down here is just a black to white gradient. And for the duotone effect, you want to have this kind of a gradient from one color to another. Now click on this gradient right here. It brings up the gradient editor and in here we can choose all kinds of different gradients. Now again you want to have ones that are just single gradient in here like this one right there. And if you're looking at these, these little icons, the ones that have the dark in the upper left hand corner and the light bottom right hand corner, these will be giving you the correct look in here. And that's dark left hand side and light right hand side. You can control the cutoff point on these just by grabbing this little control handle right here, little color tab, and pulling it in. And notice how this is adding in more of that color in there, just like we saw in the Duotone tool. Same thing on the right hand side, you can pull this in and add in more of that color if you want to right there. Now, just like in the Duotone tool, you can choose any color you want in here for your two colors. Simply click on the color tab, and then right down here, choose your color. Say I wanted to have a dark blue to a light blue. I'll find a nice dark blue in here. Maybe down here someplace, you know, fairly dark is good for this side. Like that, that's good. And then go over here to the right hand side, click on that color tab, and click on the color box right here. And let's find a nice light blue. And I'll go even lighter on this one. And there we go, there's a dark blue to light blue duotone effect. Now you have lots of other options in here, a lot of presets. We have some color harmonies like this, and there's a lot of these that are just straight color sets like that. Now if it's reversed like this, you can fix that, I'll show you that in just one second, but color harmonies have a lot of these. Pastels have some, these are a bit more complex because we have more than just one color in here. But it gives you more options. You can go really fancy and strange if you want to on these things. Okay, let's go back to our Color Harmonies 1. And let's choose one that's backwards. I'll choose this one, kind of a backwards look. Choose OK. And then right here it says Reverse. Just click on that. And that reverses that gradient. And there you go. There's your same duotone effect again right here. So all of that can be easily done. And this can be done in any earlier version of Photoshop Elements. You don't have to have 2021 to do this duotone. The last thing we could do before inside of the NuGet Edit is to put the duotone effect inside of a shape. And we can do that as well. Now they applied theirs to a mask. We'll be using a trick that will give us a lot more control and flexibility. So come down to just one layer here and come down to Graphics right there. And in here you want this set at Shapes. All kinds of black shapes in here as you can see. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Much more than we saw over there inside of the standard Guided Edit. And I'm going to be choosing this one here. This is basically the same one that we saw over there, one of our options. So let's just pull this out. Here we go. Let's go back to layers. So we want to get our gradient part, our color map, inside of this shape. Fairly easy to do. First, we're going to right click where it says Shape 1, right click, and I'm going to Simplify Layer. That just converts it from being a shape into being just a graphic layer. We now need to copy the shape and put this onto the layer mask up here for our gradient. So for that, hold the control key down and click on the thumbnail. That selects the contents of that layer, which of course is our shape. And then edit copy. I can now hide that. We're done with that. Let's go up here to the gradient right here. I'm going to deselect. It's no longer needed. And then hold the alt key down. Click on the right side or layer mask side. And then edit paste. There's the shape in here. And again, I'm just going to deselect that. Here's that shape on the layer mask. Now click on the background layer. This takes us back outside. And notice that we have the duotone outside and not inside. We need to just reverse this. So on your layer mask side, go up to Filter, come down to Adjustments, and then Invert. And there we go. There's the gradient map inside of that shape on the black and white background. 
If you want your color background, just hide the black and white layer and there it is on top of your color background. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements 2021 or any earlier version, take a look at the links I have down at the top of the description down there. The top one, of course, is for 2021. The one below that is for all previous versions of Photoshop Elements. All right, and I'll see you next time.